the State Department doesn't give a damn about the pip people that are here. All they care about is covering up their own butts. Utter outrage from the mother of a local man killed in the attack at the U.S. consulate in Benghazi. The long-awaited report on the ambush that killed four Americans is out. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins is live in the newsroom with who that mother says she'll blame until her final breath. And guys, there are 80 new witnesses in that report, but the only one that matters to this mom is her son. Tell me why my son is dead. Republicans released the 800-page report designed to do just that. It blames the military and the Obama administration. I don't lie. Hillary does. And she killed my son and the other three guys. The report doesn't directly blame Hillary Clinton, who was Secretary of State at the time, but it does say intelligence was available that pointed to a possible attack. Pat Smith says Clinton could have saved her son. And I talked to him that same day. Smith says her son called for more security, but it never came. Then he told me he was going to die. The report says Clinton didn't recognize the risks going in, and the military didn't react fast enough to get those men out. Smith was one of four Americans who came home in a casket. Hillary put her arms around me and said, oh, I'm so sorry. She says, well, it was the fault of the video. I said, what video? The report focuses on how officials initially blamed the attacks on an anti-Muslim video, which wasn't true. She lied to my face over my son's coffin. Hillary ought to be in jail. She's an evil woman and the world ought to know this. Democrats came out saying the State Department's security measures were woefully inadequate, but Clinton never personally denied a request for more security. They also called the findings a conspiracy theory on steroids. Smith clings to her son's final words and believes her son's blood is on Clinton's hands. If I was God, I would say, this woman and may she rot in hell.